Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the Jew for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At this point in time, we as a community of the faithful, through the power of the Holy Spirit, believe that the bread and wine has now been transformed into the body and blood of Christ which then allows us to be able to recognize, adore, and acknowledge that the presence of Christ is now being in our midst. And so the next section of prayers is the reenactment of the Last Supper, that most important part of nourishment that the faithfully gathered, the disciples of Jesus had in that tradition of our Catholic faith. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. As that is now the body of Christ, notices how the priest actually shows the body of Christ and that there is a period of silence for all of the body of Christ to worship and to adore the sacred species, the presence of God right here on the altar. And similarly, we do the same thing with the blood of Christ. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. 